Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler with four really cool items to show you from the Alejandro Villanueva private autograph signing that was held at Total Sports Enterprises. I don't do a whole lot of private signings, but I purchased two items from their pre-sale and I dropped off two items to be signed as well, two items that I've been hoping to get signed by him. So, um, yeah, this is pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and show you the little COA card that comes with every item that I have. Every item also has their tamper-proof sticker, which is more important than this paper COA, but there's the website. That's the company. This company has been both good and bad for local sports scenes. It's great because not just good, but great because you've been able to get access to certain players. The bad part is they have exclusive clients they sign. So even if they have like a $20 fundraiser where they show up to, you know, take pictures or whatever, they will not sign autographs because it's not like a paid event. So you know, take the good with the bad. But overall, there you go. Total Sports Enterprises held a private signing. I believe it was March 14th. That would have been Pi Day, P.I. for all you mathematically minded folks or for those of you who are now having geometry nightmares but that's okay as my name says I'm math bowler so uh, yes I have a math degree and I enjoy using it so uh, on to the four items and I'm going to take my time with it because this guy is an absolute hero in fact I'm going to show you another guy who's a hero so there's your tamper proof sticker oh if that'll focus hey maybe yeah there's your tamper proof sticker that's going to be on all these. This is a plastic military replica helmet and it's also been signed not only by Alejandro Villanueva but also by another hero, Rocky Blyer. For those of you who aren't big Steelers fans, I, I get it if you're not. I I'm not a huge Steelers fan of the current team right now after they hit in the tunnel, which is ironic because of... Anyway, Rocky Blyer, he had served in the Vietnam War, Vietnam War the U.S. Army. He was shot, and I believe the story is while he was down, a grenade had landed near him. The shrapnel hit his legs, um, lost part of his right foot, told he'd never play football again, and he came back, and I believe him and Franco had 1,000-yard seasons together. Per Bronze Star, Purple Heart, <laughs> absolutely amazing story, and he's a really good guy in person. I've had the pleasure of meeting him. I'm going to guess four times in person and gotten stuff signed by him every time just a couple items maybe just one but it's an honor to meet him and he seems to just be authentically happy to all the blessings that he has uh, been fortunate to receive all right and then of course we have the main guy that i was going for alejandro villanueva um for those of you who don't know he was an army ranger served in afghanistan three deploy deployments i believe he had one deployment had some tryouts and then decided to go back and had two more deployments and then the rest is history from there. Uh, he earned a bronze star. I believe he had saved some fo injured folks and whatnot. But um, this is a military helmet. It's a dual sign. I don't know of any other Steelers off the top of my head that deserves to go on this. Um, it's a very unique item. It's a little bit bigger than a Steeler mini helmet, but I'm not off to get a different type of case for this one but yeah that that's a pretty sweet item i'm glad to have it so uh, thanks for letting me talk about this guy i got three more things to show you the next one is the black <coughs> excuse me the steelers black mini helmet and that autograph came out really nice actually it's not the best autograph out there i realize that it's like av and then yeah that little squiggle with the 7.8. The 7.8 looks nice, if that means anything. There's the uh, tamper-proof sticker. So that was the second of two items that I got through their pre-sale. I definitely wanted the mini helmet. If they weren't having the mini helmet as a pre-sale option, I was going to send it, drop off one, or send it in. But of course they had it. Now the other two items are already in a frame. Already framed up, ready to go. get to this in just a moment so his first season with the Steelers I had purchased a pair of his game worn gloves and with the glass and everything it's not gonna it oh it did it picked it up oh my goodness you can see the Steelers game used tamper proof hologram and above it was the total sports enterprises tamper proof 
sticker as well. Um, I have the paper COAs from both TSC and the Steelers. So there's all the verification you need. Um, something cool about Alejandro Villanueva, if, you know, after the, um, well, I don't want to get into too much, but he black, on the other side of these gloves is the Nike logo, which he blacks out with Sharpie now after certain things have happened. So anyway, this is a pair of his rookie year gloves I have put into this frame that I get from Michaels. I have three other autographed pairs of Steelers game gloves, game use authenticated gloves. And as you can tell, his hands are humongous. And these gloves are meant to fit tight. Um, I'm six feet tall, and my hands don't even come close. It, that doesn't even do it justice. It doesn't. But the, I was worried about how this would turn out. You know, the very specific instructions, where to sign it, silver paint pen. Now, that autograph obviously looks different from this autograph. Sometimes, you know, on the on the plastic military helmet, the 7-8 was inside. Yet on the mini helmet, the Steeler mini helmet, um, the 7-8 was there. I am a bit on the OCD side, but still, these came out so awesome. I am absolutely proud to own these. I thought this would be my favorite item to have. I mean, these gloves do show some wear on them, but you may not be able to tell. I mean, the fingertips are obviously, yeah. But yeah, this was a rookie year game used gloves, and obviously since he made the Pro Bowl the first year and then the second year, prices on those have gone up just to get a pair of his gloves. But um, my favorite item actually ended up being this military helmet, which I didn't think that would happen, but that's totally what happened, as I have mentioned, you know, because of their service and all the amazing things they have done for our country, and in addition to the amazing things that many, many people have done just so I can make videos. <laughs> in my spare time. So um, I want to thank everybody for all your service and um, thank you for checking out my videos. If you had a favorite item, feel free to let me, do let me know down in the comments. Feel free to like the video. Feel free to give me those comments and feel so free to subscribe to my channel. I upload a new video once every weekend. Take care everybody.